Nezu Museum. I am not really a Buddhist. I do appreciate a lot of the values that Buddhism has. And uh, there's a lot of artifacts and cool things there to check out. The garden is really what I was interested in, as well as the building itself. Um, I forgot the designer's name, I mean the architect's name, but really cool building to look at and took some cool photos and videos inside. But um, now I'm heading over to a sova place because I'm so hungry and it's uh, 2.30. So yeah, hopefully this place isn't too busy as today is a public holiday and yeah, we'll see. So I've been traveling around Japan for about a month now and I want to share with you guys my favorite purchases so far. I guess the first thing I want to show with you is this shirt that I'm wearing right here. This is a heavyweight cotton shirt by Capital. I'm not sure what it's called exactly but it's got a really nice wide boxy cut. It's a little bit cropped and then the sleeves are really nice and long. I really like the silhouette and I think it complements wide baggy pants and um, yeah I'm very keen to be wearing this. I think I paid about 12,000 for this, so in Australian dollars it's like 140 or something. I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of it. Uh, the second capital piece I want to talk about is is this green knit. Uh, it's like a cable knit, um, cable knit, waffle knit. It's a waffle knit sweatshirt by Capital. It's similar in the fact that it's got a little bit of a cropped body. The waistband is quite tight, so it sort of cinches on your waist, giving you like a really nice um, proportional look with your torso. The sleeves are really baggy, but they fit quite nice on my arm. And again, I just really like the cut. It's a little bit different to what you usually get. The quality is nice, and I think I paid about 15,000 for this. So just a little bit pricier than the shirt, which is, um, which is a really great price, I think. And the last thing I grabbed actually, it's a uh, trucker cap by Capital. Um, I've always wanted one of these hats for a while, but they're kind of expensive in Australia. So as soon as I got here, obviously I had to cop one because they're like half the price. Uh, so like $80. Uh, this was the last one they had in the stock. This is the Century Denim hat. It's this really nice bright orange and brown bill with a blue uh, lettering. I normally wouldn't buy something so vibrant, but since it was the last one in stock, I just grabbed it and I don't regret it at all. It's, it's really nice. Okay, so moving on to my pants. These are by Needles. This is their HD pant with the cargo style. I'm not sure which year this is from, but they don't sell the cargo variation at the moment of the HD pant. But I found this in a thrift store, uh, Second Street, there's so many of them. And I got it for a pretty good price. Uh, so about 200 Australian dollars. I've really been enjoying the wide fit sort of uh, pants silhouette recently. So these HD pants are like right up my alley. And yeah, I'm kind of happy that I got it. Now I just grabbed the next two things recently, but um, I met up with my friend Jojo here in Tokyo and he shoots film and stuff. And he gifted me one of these um, Brainwave 400 film rolls. This is something his mates have been working on for a while and I've got a roll of it, so I'm extremely happy and excited to shoot this one. I might make a video out of it as well, because it's something a little different. Apart from that though, I grabbed a roll of Fujifilm Professional Velvia 100. Now uh, this is slide film. I've never really thought that I'd want to shoot slide film, but it was a little cheaper, so I just grabbed it anyway. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'll have to shoot it on a very sunny day. Surprisingly, that's the only camera related stuff that I've bought this trip so far but that may change. Okay, so the next thing I wanna show you is something I've been using a lot, and it's this bag by Mombel. Now, I'm not sure if it's a Japanese thing, but everyone seems to have Mombel bags here, and there's a lot of stores as well. 
I grabbed this side bag in this uh, red color, which I think looks really great with the ripstop material. And I also had to grab this little teddy bear um, and just attach it to it because, you know, we're in Japan, it's everything's kind of cute. This guy's really cute. I've been using this pretty much every day. It fits my camera, it fits everything else that I need to bring in it. So yeah, just a versatile bag. One of the more practical things that I've bought is um, this little coffee set by Snowpeak. I love Snowpeak. I love the design, the philosophy, build quality of everything that they have. It's just great. So I've got this little coffee set. This is a dripper. It collapses really easily, which has been great for traveling. I've been carrying this around everywhere. It just flattens out. As well as this double walled titanium mug. Anyway, these two have come in clutch. I've been having morning coffee every day. I'd recommend buying it if you're curious. It's great. Before we get off the clothes, I bought this cool bomber jacket in Korea, actually. I guess this is a varsity jacket. Um, I've never owned one before, and I never really thought I would own one either, but I tried this on at the store and it fit perfectly. It's a hard rock cafe thing. I don't know if that's kind of corny, but like the colors are incredible. It's like this really rich crimson wine kind of color on the back. It's got these leather sleeves that feel really nice. And then the fit's just really nice for me. Funny story actually, the second from the top button was, uh, it was loose and it actually came off. So when I came home, I bought some super glue and my mum was helping me out. And then we were super gluing this little um, button on just for looks, not to use it. And then my mum got her fingers stuck <laughs> in super glue. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was kind of funny because it took a while to get her fingers unstuck, but yeah, this has got a pretty funny memory attached to it now, so I'm really enjoying this. So I bought two pairs of shoes when I was over here, first one being these wheat colored Air Force Ones. I don't know, I, I never really thought I'd own another pair of Air Force Ones again, but these ones kind of spoke out to me. The color on this and the laces, it's nice, and the price was just right, it was about $100, so I you know, I just had to do it. But the second pair of shoes that I bought is actually a lot more interesting. So this is a boot from Dana. Now I've wanted a hiking boot like this for a long time and these are quite expensive. Retail, I think they go for like $600, $700. So I never really bit the bullet, but I've always been curious. And I walked into a secondhand store and you know, I saw it on the shelf and then I was thinking like, oh shit, like that's the one I've been thinking and then I saw the size and then I was like oh this is my size tried it on it fit looked at the price and it was a hundred and seventy Australian dollars Wow so obviously I just bought it instantly and I do not regret it I've been walking around with these they're quite comfortable they have a vibrant sole uh, the silhouettes nice it's like a little bit chunkier than my typical boots and it has these metal uh, details on the front which I really enjoy the biggest problem is I just have to bring all of this home somehow, so yeah, we'll figure that out. 